His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, then visited the Majlises of Abdullah bin Hamid al Majid al Naimi, where he exchanged congratulations, marking the advent of the Holy Month. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of promoting from the sanctity of the Holy Month to advocate the values of tolerance, moderation and fraternity, and preserving the long-standing image of Bahrain as an oasis of hospitality and security. The Prime Minister pointed out the vital role of Ramadan Majlises as platforms which engage people in constructive dialogue and an opportunity to recall Bahrain's deep-rooted history and cultural heritage. He saluted all patriotic efforts and moderate voices seeking to cement unity and advocate national interests, transcending all divisive considerations. He stressed the need to focus on development for Bahrain to progress and thrive without paying heed to, proponent, to proponents rather, of sick agendas who are preying on Bahrain's people and plotting to derail national development. His Royal Highness added that the Kingdom of Bahrain will continue forging ahead on the path of progress and prosperity thanks to its strong-willed people. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited yesterday the Majlises of Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Abdullah bin Hamad Al Naimi and Ahmed Mansour Al Ali. His Royal Highness highlighted that the holy month of Ramadan is an opportunity to spread the inspiring Islamic values of peace, tolerance and social harmony. He stated that the leadership of His Majesty the King and the sincere national stances of Bahrain's people have helped the kingdom to overcome the repercussions of recent periods through consolidating the values of moderation, tolerance and coexistence, which comes in line with the National Action Charter principles. He also noted that in order to ensure sustained progress, mutual cooperation across society must be maintained and collaboration between officials and civil efforts is required. His Royal Highness affirmed that the current regional and international challenges require increasing the sense of responsibility and hard work by new generations, stressing that achieving consensus is an essential aspect of the process of development in an open and pluralistic society like Bahrain. He also asserted the government's constant work on implementing the reforms led by His Majesty the King through further reinforcing of the principles outlined in the National Action Charter, adding that since His Majesty appointed him as the first Deputy Prime Minister, the government at work has continued its efforts to build on achievements led by the wise and dedicated directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, asserting that mechanisms are being developed and enhanced both existing and upcoming governmental programs. For their part, the audience expressed their sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his keen interest in visiting Ramadan Mujlises annually, noting the importance of the Holy Month as a time to spread its spiritual values.